guys, what's up? Today I'm going to teach you a little trick on Forge. And that trick is how to build a armored mongoose machine. So, while this is getting set up, I'm just going to show you a clip of what the machine looks like. Okay guys, so as you can see right there, it looks kind of like a, like a box type thing. And it's just like a machine that the mongoose enters, and at the other end, it's an armored mongoose. So it's pretty useful for like just an extra effect on a map or just to impress your friends like if they're just watching you and they're just like waiting for what's going to happen they see you go in and then come out differently. So it just hits the little bomb or the landmine and then it creates an armored shield over your vehicle. And in this video, I'm going to go ahead and already credit um, Team Epiphany because they have created unique Forge tips and tricks, and this is one of them. Just I wanted to remake it due to the fact that his video was like 13 minutes long and not a lot of people understood it. So I'm just going to create this short little one. Hopefully you guys understand it. So as you can see right now, I'm just creating a bridge. And the bridge is where the mongoose is going to enter the box and that's when the trigger of um, the barricade falls and goes on the mongoose for the armor. Right now, I'm just going to build the triggers that are going to launch the barricade to fall down and go over the mongoose. The trigger that we're going to use is the landmine. The landmine is going to work as a button, and it's going to hit the fusion coils to go up and drop the barricade. Now, to protect your landmine from exploding your mongoose, you're going to need to lay down a shield door. Now, the shield door is going to protect the explosion from killing you, but it still triggers from beneath to give it the effect of the trigger. Now, you lay down a structure to um, have the, the button, the red dot, just a little bit out over or up above the surface. So it acts as the button. Now, once you have it laid down, then you angle your fusion coils going up. Before we do the rest of the fusion coils, first off, we're going to test the button to see if it works. So if you go on your mongoose and go over the button, you can see that your mongoose isn't detonating the bomb. So you can kind of adjust the shield door to make it a little bit down more and the landmine down a little bit, but still have the button sticking out. The reason it's doing that is because vehicles won't get, um, they just don't go over the shield doors because it causes the effect of a bounce. Um, what I re recommend is you put the button on the side and have it skim up against it. As you can see, my player walked over it and died. But I'm going to fix that by putting the button on the side. Now by putting the button on the side wall allows the vehicle to go straight forward and skim the button and detonate the fusion coils to detonate the barricade to fall. So I'm just going to go ahead and test that out. So worked perfectly, skimmed across. Now we just have to set up our angles of our fusion coils to trigger our barricade. So right there, my fusion coils are going up right over the tip of the wall to get right under the barricade's fusion coil. So we're going to place a, um, a fixed fusion coil right under the barricade so it's holding it up. But when the um, landmine gets touched, it'll detonate the fusion coils, kind of like a domino effect in a sort of way and it'll trigger it to go all the way up, hit the fixed um, fusion coil that is holding the barricade up, and make it fall directly onto the mongoose. Once you have your barricade set up so it's kind of level and it'll fall directly onto the mongoose when the bomb's detonated, then you can go ahead and test it out. So, I'm just going to get on a mongoose and see how it works. Now, 
Uh, once I hit the bomb, you realize that the barricade flew out. To prevent the bar barricade to, from um, just going wherever it wants, you can go ahead and get a shield door and some walls. The walls and the shield door will make it bounce straight down level to the mongoose. So I'm going to go ahead and get my shield doors and walls. So once you get your shield doors and your walls all set up so the barricade's kind of tightly compacted and it'll go straight down on the mongoose the way you lined it up, you can go ahead and test it out. So as you can see, my barricade didn't fall the way I wanted it to, right over it. So what you can do to fix that is tilt it a different certain way and just make sure it falls the way you want it to. Once you have your barricade set up, then you're going to add decorations around it to make it look more of a actual object than just kind of thrown out pieces. Now I'm not the best at like aesthetics or decorating, so I'm just doing the best I could. So I just kind of made it so it had like a skin around it with a little light and an armor lock thing. So it kind of shows that it's an armor machine. Now once you have everything set up, then you can go ahead right through, and then you have your armored mongoose machine. Sorry this video was long guys, I really meant it to be shorter than this, and if you have any questions about how to build this, leave a comment.